There are some new big features that have just been launched from Ubiquiti and we did a video on them yesterday so you can go and check that out in the description. But the more important thing today is there's not one, two, but three brand new products that they have launched today. So let's take a quick look at their video and we can come back and discuss them in a little bit more detail. We are thrilled to introduce Unify Network 9.0, a milestone release delivering groundbreaking advancements in security and SD-WAN performance. Our mission was to design the most powerful firewall engine in the industry. Couple and if you've not seen this already, this is the new zone based firewall and I have a couple of videos on these already, so I'll skip over this part. We are excited to introduce Unify Cyber Secure, a new service that enhances Unify's intrusion prevention capabilities with daily threat signature updates from Proofpoint's industry leading security research team. The collaboration ensures that your network is protected against the latest threats identified by experts. Unify Cyber Secure is supported on most- So that is the Cyber Secure update, which for the UK, it costs 79 pounds per year per site. You can click on that little button in the site manager to get the price for your local region. SiteMagic now supports scaling to over 1,000 sites through its new hub and spoke architecture. This enhancement solidifies SiteMagic as the industry's most powerful, completely license free SD-WAN platform. Finally, we've introduced a Unify Network API that works completely locally without any cloud dependencies. Now onto hardware. So we have a few updates just there. So we have the new network API and we have the site magic update, which you can now do hub and spoke and mesh networks. So let's jump into the first piece of hardware. Now onto hardware. We are expanding our 2.5 gigabit ethernet switching lineup, starting with the Flex 2.5 G series. This image right here shows you the three different products you can now purchase. So you have the Flex 2.5 G, the 2.5 G8 and the 2.5 G8 PoE series. These switches feature a compact form factor with 2.5 gigabit speeds on all ports, up to 210 watts of PoE capacity, versatile 10 gigabit uplink options, and versatile mounting options, perfect for flexible, high performance networking. Need more 2.5 gigabit port capacity? The Pro HD line. The next piece of hardware is the Pro HD switches. This comes in a 24 and a 48 bit flavor. Currently the 24 port is only available. You also have the PoE and the non PoE version that you can buy of this. And just having a quick look at these two images right here, you can see the 48 port is gonna be coming with 25 gig SFP plus, whereas the 24 port is coming with 10 gig SFP plus. Pro HD line offers a 1U rack mountable solution with 2.5 gigabits per second on every port, integrated ether lighting and redundant power support. These switches even include 10 gigabit ethernet ports and PoE plus plus 60 watt capability, delivering awesome performance and scalability. Building on the incredible success of our U7 outdoor access point, we are proud to introduce the U7 Pro Outdoor, and this is the third and final piece of hardware is the U7 Pro Outdoor. This next generation outdoor AP delivers significantly higher throughput and client capacity while retaining its integrated directional antenna and external antenna versatility. It also features enhanced IP67 weatherproofing, an impressive articulating mounting system for optimal positioning and an incredible and near interference free outdoor Wi-Fi experience. Stay tuned for more updates coming soon as we continue our mission to rethink the IT industry. So there we have it. That is the latest of the Unify updates. Let's now move along and take a look at these products in a little bit more detail. So we have the 24 port PoE, $999 or 1,090 euros, depending on where you're located. This includes the layer three ether lighting switch with two 10 gig PoE++ ports, 22 2.5 gigabit PoE++ ports. So that in total gives you a minimum of two and a half gig across the whole switch. You have four 10 gig SFP plus ports. Now, normally the 24 port switch themselves only come with two SFP plus ports, but this comes with four, which may eliminate the need for additional items within your network, but having four in there can be very useful. And if we have a quick look down at the images, we can see what it looks like just here. We have some fans built in on the back due to the heat. We have the power input and the DC backup supply if you have the RPS. As I said earlier, this comes in both a PoE flavor and a non PoE flavor. The Pro HD 24 without PoE is coming on February 3rd. You can see the specs are exactly the same minus the PoE. And if you want to know what that costs in the US, it's $599. Next, we have the U7 Pro, which is coming January 10th. And this comes in at $279. This is an all weather IP67 
Wi-Fi 7 access point. Now the difference between this one and the other one is this comes with the long range 6 gigahertz performance with AFC. It has the 465 square meter coverage and you can connect up to 300 devices. And it still has that 2.5 gigabit uplink to making sure you get the maximum throughput. Looking at the specs in a little bit more further detail, we have the two by two MIMOs across all three range. Looking a little bit further into the specs, we have the two by two MIMOs on the 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz spectrums. One thing to highlight is depending on where you are in the world and where you buy the access point from is depending on what sort of support you get. So with the U7 Pro Outdoor US version you get 6 gigahertz support and the long range AFC and with the U7 Pro Outdoor in the EU version you don't get Wi-Fi, you don't get the 6 gigahertz support. The other thing to point out is the hardware specifications. You can see on this side all three spectrum bands have the 2x2 two two MIMO across all three spectrums. However, on the European version that you can see just here, we have two by two and four by four on the five gigahertz. And then finally, the final piece of hardware, which I know a lot of people have been asking for, is an eight port 2.5 gigabit switch. Well, now you have two different options that you can buy. You have the Flex 2.5G 8 PoE and you have the non-PoE version. So if we take a little look at some of the specification right here, you can see 8 port 2.5 gigabit PoE++ with a 10 gig RJ45 and SFP plus uplink port. So you can see both of them just there. You can power this using a 10 gig PoE++ input from another switch, or you can buy yourself external adapters. You can see a 210 watt adapter down here below. And this adapter also is compatible with the USW Ultra. For the specification of the non-POE version, it is eight 2.5 gigabit ports and one 10 gig POE plus input port for power and an SFP plus combination. And for the 2.5 G eight port switch, it's $159 for the non-POE version. And then for the POE version, it is $199 and that is coming on January 16th. The last and final thing that I am gonna show you, there are a few more accessories that have come out. So I did mention the AC adapter and previously you couldn't purchase this separately so you can now go ahead and purchase this separately if you want. You can also get yourself a DIN rail mount for the compact switches so this works with all of these that are listed along here. That's the full USW range and the USW Flex 2.5G 8 versions and also you can get yourself a floating mount should you want this for the switch as well. So you have a few different options when it comes to accessories. Ubiquity have definitely hit the ground running at the start of 2025. Let me know your thoughts on these products. I am going to be getting my hands on them soon. So if you want to see a review on them or if you want to see something specific, again, let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.